everybody, welcome back. I sure hope you enjoyed our story, Are We There Yet? by Dan Sintat. Um, I sure enjoyed it. I remember taking many road trips with my kiddos and the fun we would have as we drove along um, to our vacation destinations. And I'm sure that as the summer um, goes on, many of you will take lots of fun road trips too. And I hope you bring lots of books to go along on those trips and use your imagination. In the meantime, we can make a really fun craft that helps us use our imagination in a world that doesn't read quite so much. And I thought we could make our own little television sets. Ta-da! Um, I know that librarians aren't supposed to be all that excited about televisions, but we can use television media um, as a way to learn too. And there's a lot to um, be gleaned from the, the airwaves and from the internet. Um, so I thought we could make our own TVs. Now, modern TVs look a lot different than the TVs that I grew up with. And even the TVs that I grew up with look a lot different from the televisions that my parents grew up with. And my grandparents, well, they didn't have TV at all. Can you imagine not having any kind of television or internet? Wow, what a weird world we live in now. But at any rate, so I thought we could make a television kind of, kind of mirroring like what we had um, when I was growing up. And that means that it's got big dials and a speaker and even what we called rabbit ears, which would be the antenna. And that was what caught the signal from the radio station so we could watch the shows. And what makes our television cool is that you guys get to determine what we watch. You get to draw pictures, as many as you want. And when you put them on your television screen, you can tell us what's going on in your story. For example, Maybe in our story here, maybe someone went swimming and is diving down in the depths and found a mermaid. Or maybe there is a, um, a distressed ship off the shore and the guy who was sitting here in the chair went to go rescue um, whoever was um, lost at sea. Or maybe this is just somebody who had one too many coconuts and had to go... Um, find something else to eat beside the coconut. So I don't know, you can come up with any kind of story you want and you can make anything. It can be dinosaurs, it can be outer space, it can be um, anything really that you want it to be. It could be a wild animal adventure, it could be a cartoon adventure, it could be a serious drama or a funny comedy. It could be anything you want to be. And here's how you make it. All you need is um, two sheets of black construction paper you're going to need um, some scrap paper out of which you're going to cut four one eighth inch wide um, by about three inch uh, long rectangles. I made them blue so that it would stand out on my speaker on my screen. Um, then you're going to need two, um, about two, one and a half to two inch size circles, depending on how big you want your dials to be, out of any construction paper color that you like. You're going to need a sheet of white paper and some markers. And you're going to need a scissors and a pencil and a straw with tin foil and glue. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing that you're going to need to do, I'm going to reach across here and grab my white paper, is be thinking about the story you want to tell. Because that's what's going to go on the inside of your television. So when you've got that story planned out, and I think we're just going to draw, hmm, what should we do? Let's do... Um, well, since we've got a sea theme going, we'll just go with a fish in the ocean. And we'll go ahead and take our black construction paper and you have to cut out the TV screen. And when you cut out your screen, you wanna leave about an inch at the top of the page, an inch on the side of the page, and an inch on the bottom of the page. And then you're going to want to have about two and a half to three inches on uh, your right side of the page. And I use my um, paper slicer to make this really easy to do. It's easy to measure um, and I cut a nice simple straight line this way without worrying about whether or not I'm cutting a straight line with my scissors because I usually don't and we can just slide like that all the way to the edge but not all the way to the edge of the paper and then we'll come down here and we'll make another cut and this time you want to go right to the edge that you previously cut and rotate the paper again and we'll come over here and we'll cut again and all the way up to my mark on that side and one last time and we're going to go here like so 
Now I have good news for those of you who happen to live um, in our area and come to the HER library on a regular basis. We are open, um, although we are not open for people to come in and browse just yet, but we are open for pickup of ordering books. And the good news is, is if you want to make this craft, we've already pre-cut everything for you. And you just have to come in and request the craft bag for this week for the Are You There Yet craft. And we'll give you the bag and you can take this all home and there's no cutting involved at all. You just put it all together. So anyways, when you have your black screen cut out, um, then you can set this off to one side. And you want to pull over your white sheet of paper. And you kind of want to just measure um, where your... Um, screen is going to be because you don't need the full size of the sheet of paper and we can trace an outline here and we're going to want to come down just a little bit longer than the length of what you've cut so that you can grab a hold of it when you want to take it out of the TV and that is the size of sheet of paper that you're going to need and if you don't have a paper slicer then you can just simply cut nice and simple like that And for our scene that we wanted to make, we're just going to take our markers here. And maybe we'll have a purple fish swimming in the ocean. And we'll give him an eye here. We'll give him a blue eye. And we'll give him a big smile. And maybe we can give him a pink fin. Maybe. And some pink fins down here. And maybe we'll give him some stripes. And maybe a little striped fish. Yeah. Right. And maybe we'll have some seaweed over here. He's swimming through and we'll give him a little bit of some sandy beach at the bottom here and of course we'll need some blue ocean waves above him and that could be our picture screen for the story we're going to tell about our little stripey fish maybe he's going to meet the fish of his dreams or maybe he's going to encounter a pirate and help him find buried treasure. It can be anything you want it to be. So to go back to the assembly of our TV, now that we have our TV show made, and you can make as many of those as you like. Um, if you want to make half a dozen or so, you can keep pulling your sheets out as you're telling the story and have the screen actually change colors. So to make the front of the screen then, you want to take your circles for the knobs of your television, and you just want to put a little bit of glue on them and glue them at the top of your screen. And then again here, your on off button and your turn the channel. Back in the days before we had remote controls, you actually had to get up, go over to the television set and manually turn the channel. And I can remember growing up, we had like six stations to choose from. And if there wasn't anything on, we shut the TV off. Although we watched a lot of nonsense back then because you know, it was better than having to do chores. Although we usually couldn't watch TV till the chores were done, so I guess it's a mute point. All right, so then you want to glue your um, speaker on the bottom here. And that's what these blue strips are for, is to show you that you have a speaker. So that the volume when your Tyrannosaurus Rex devours the unsuspecting Brontosaurus, they'll come through nice and loud. And there's that speaker. Okay, and then you can kind of let those dry for a moment and we'll work on the antenna. To make the antenna, you just need a straw. You want to bend your straw in half and then you want to cut it. Just so it's equal parts. And then you need a sheet of tin foil, a couple inches wide by the length of the tin foil. And you want to also cut that in half. A good way to sharpen your scissors. Make sure you're careful with the scissors, kids. And then you want to turn it so that the shiny side is face down and you have the dull side facing up. And you want to spread a little bit of glue over the whole thing because we want these to not fall off. 
And back in the day, kids, you had to fashion tin foil into these things to get the best reception possible on top of your television. That was back before we had dish and cable and all these other things. I'm really dating myself, but these are fun. Okay, so now you've got it all rolled up. Should look like um, a tube. And you wanna flatten the one end, so we'll glue underneath and point the other end into a tip, like that. And then repeat with the other one. Roll it up until it's nice and cylinder. Flatten the one end, like so, and bring the other end into a tip. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble our television. And you only want to glue three sides because you have to leave the bottom open so you can slide your um, sheets of paper in and out as you tell your story. And I recommend that you keep your glue as close to the edge of the paper as you can. It'll give you um, maximum um, room to put your paper in and out of your TV screen. And when you're up here at the top where the antenna is going to come in, you're going to want to put a little bit of extra glue so that these things really stick. And you want to take your antennas and that flat edge that you had created, you're going to want to put that right inside here like so, and like so. And then you want to um, cover a little bit more tin foil on top, or I mean a little bit more glue on top of the tin foil. And then we're going to press down on top of all this glue your television set. And get it in there nice and glued. Make it nice and square. Oops. Like that. And then we can adjust your antennas. And then make sure you let it dry good. And when it's nice and dried, you can slide your story up inside. Just like that. Ta -da! And you have a television set. I sure hope that you guys have a lot of fun making your television sets. Um, as you can see on this one, we did the dials on the one side and on this side we did on the other. It doesn't matter which way you want to do it. Um, it's your TV, you have fun doing it. Pick your colors, pick your sizes, pick your shapes, and have fun creating your stories and using your imaginations to explore um, all the wonderful things we can find. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later, bye.